So when I say that Eastern wisdom is an instrument of knowledge, instrument of knowledge aims at self-discovery. Now see that in that statement, so it means there is a knowledge of the self-discovery. So that work is written in the text. Great masters have written that text. So the work is there in the book and that work has a specific subject. What is that subject? to realize my essential nature, that subject. So that subject becomes the knowledge. So what is that subject? To realize the self and to bring an end to the suffering. Am I interested? Do I think about it? Or I simply say, you know, how are you? No, I'm fine. And then, you know, I, I return another statement, you know, who is fine in this world? Who can bring an end to the suffering? Everybody is suffering from the stress. So now see, the mind is going on talking. It is telling its own story. <laughs> that is how our masters used to catch the people. <laughs> Do you see, Anne? See, the, see that. So now the beauty of these texts. You know, you have heard the name of Upanishads. You have heard the name of Sutra. You have heard the name Veda. So specifically if I say Upanishads are not written to become famous. You know you write a book nowadays, nowadays everyone wants to buy the book written by John Bolton. <laughs> you see that? So these masters have not written the book for their recognition, for becoming a bestseller. Their purpose of writing a book that deals with a subject matter and that subject matter is that subject matter is what is that subject matter you can say awakening to my real nature that is of the nature of peace and happiness love and wisdom and bring an end to suffering. Now one more thing. So this is one relationship. Now the second relationship that is dealt by every master, every teacher in the book, in the teachings of the entire 6,000 years old tradition. What is that? that how to how a a person who is a seeker of this knowledge should approach should study should reveal this knowledge you see that now Now see that, now we were just talking and it triggered my mind to talk about that principle. 
the knowledge is there what is that knowledge to bring an end to the suffering philip knows it but is he interested if he is interested then he will become a seeker we both tried our best see that i am suffering so i want to bring an end to the suffering let us become in let us be interested when i am interested i establish a relationship it is such a beautiful principle laid down in the eastern wisdom now see how it is laid down what is the subject matter subject matter is to bring an end to the suffering what is suffering that includes pain habitual living challenges of the body mind challenges of the relationship so i already have a relationship with the stress and the suffering but the subject matter does the subject matter inspires me okay i have led my life for 50 60 years 40 years 30 years i have seen that this suffering moves like a chain reaction over fatigue reaction anxiety duality conflict pain challenges in the body it moves like a circle when it creates one circle then another circle is created so there is a cycle and that cycle is known as the cycle of birth and death cycle of constant alternating pain discomfort pleasure sleep can i break this until one is ready i become interested so the moment we become interested then the teacher says this is the subject matter what is the subject matter that once we find our true nature and we relate it to the world it means i should know who am i what is the world outside what is the existence outside now see that one example there are many examples and that that triggers the mind every day what is the name of our uh, beautiful uh, friend who lives nearby you the moment you bring the oh. name of huh lily lily <laughs> you're talking of lily lily you now now see that there are two parts uh do you know lily and the person says oh are you talking about lily flower and he goes on explaining oh it is such a beautiful flower it has a beautiful frog no 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 i'm talking of a lily woman <laughs> and the <laughs> mind brings the knowledge you see it is so, it is very simple but still it is very deep <laughs> you see the subject <laughs> matter <laughs> subject <laughs> so subject matter oh there is a uh edison oh are you talking of thomas alva edison no no i'm talking of a uh, township edison in new jersey <laughs> now see <laughs> the, everything changes so why it changes because the mind has yet to establish a right relationship of what we are studying so mm. i establish a right relationship with the subject matter the master says do you know the goal goal is to bring an end to the suffering and discover the nature real nature so 
the subject matter is clear the goal is clear now the third relationship how should I relate it to the subject matter that means the knowledge of the reality and my goal. Now my goal is different. So if my goal is not clear in my mind, my study will be affected. My practice will be affected. So the masters make it very clear. <coughs> that you do any practice in yoga, mantra, meditation, tantra, kundalini, mudra, the normal response of these practices is relaxation, calm, stillness, minimizing the impact of illness. So every master makes it very clear these are the secondary byproducts. The goal is to find the true nature and bring an end to the suffering in life once and for all. Thai food is very good. So I want a Thai food. <laughs> I, I see that. Subject matter, Thai food. Goal is to quench my thirst and hunger. See that. Now see that. Knowledge. Subject matter. And now I establish a relationship. Oh, there is, it's hardly three miles away from here, so we'll go there, we'll sit and eat. So the entire process is known to the mind. Similarly, and once the entire process is clear in the mind, then the journey becomes easy. So, when people are not clear about this journey, they don't have a clarity. Now, I want a Thai food and I enter into the Walmart. Mind is distracted. So, okay, there is a subway, so let me eat subway. No. So, what is that point in the mind of a seeker? The distractions, the wandering mind. Wandering mind. Wandering mind causes the impurity. Okay, who will go to that Thai restaurant? It's okay, let me eat this and finish up. So I land up with little I relaxation and a calmness, but ultimately I'm not clear. Now I don't want to be clear, it means I don't become a seeker. When I don't become a seeker, the mind does not focus on the subject matter. One master used to say, he was a great master, who lived until uh, 67 and 8, 1967, perhaps 1967 and 8. His, known, his name is Maharshi Raman. No talking of the God, goddesses, nothing. Pure understanding, he says, become clear. And he uses only one <clears throat> thought. What we are doing now? We are learning. We are learning the knowledge of the Eastern wisdom. So he used to say, the moment any action is happening, ask yourself, where are you? Who is performing this action deep inside your mind? And he says, pick up only one question. Who am I? Are you listening? You will say yes. So become aware. Who is this I listening? 
No, no, it's okay. Listen to him and do the practice and then sleep. Oh, who? From where these thoughts arise? And ultimately you ask the final question, who am I? He wrote a very small book. He became world famous. Many French, German, Americans, Japanese and people from all over the world used to visit him in South India. He had no big monastery. Living in the de almost dry Himalaya, dry mountains, not Himalaya, in South India, known as Arunachala. So you see that every master approaches different, express differently, but they pick up only the main subject matter. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Now I am experiencing pain. Oh, did you use I? So I, experience and pain. So find out who is this I? who experiences, but your mind is experiencing the pain in the body. Are you the body? Are you referring to the body? Are you the body? So now pick up one question. So I'll, you have to listen to this. You see that, oh, this is my hand. Clear? I'm looking at hand. So when I say, who am I? I'm answering this question. Now see. I'm looking at hand. Clear? Yes. Does the hand also say that, come on, I'm also looking at you? Does the hand say? No. So it means I'm somewhere inside. I'm not in the hand. So if I'm not in the hand, hand is a part of the body that proves that I'm not the body. The body cannot become conscious, second factor, that is why I am not the body. Body is material part. We know it. Protein, carbohydrate, fat. My master used to say that the more you listen and your mind gets interested, the time will come, your intellect will reflect I am not the body and you will be able to minimize the impact of the suffering. We have a wrong notion that I am the body. This is one of the many subject matter of every mindfulness and meditation. Now let us see. Let us see that we will, we will pick up this topic only. What is that topic? That I am not the body. The so body is, let us start the practice. So when we uh, practice, we will find out that is there any separation is there any separation between I am and the body? Once you experience that, it is already separate, but we experience that separation, you will discover, oh, what a great state I am in. So we'll start with eyes are closed. So first is position of the body. You see that position of the body, breath, mind, and behind mind. So first adjust yourself. You want to sit, it's okay. You want to lie down, it is okay whatever the position is that is okay 
find out that position okay so now see that we understand one principle is through the separation you know the intellect divides and perceives perceives means it knows that is the principle we are applying I'm not I don't know anything I'm not teaching anything new whatever you know I'm making you aware that is all so how the mind works mind divides and perceives but if it is able to divide it means there is some knowledge so look at the body the position of the body position of the body Now, body seems to be in the state of steadiness. Body seems to be in the state of steadiness. Now look at the breath. Oh, it is, all, it is moving. I feel the sensation. So there are two things. Body and the breath. Who is who knows it? The intellect. When it knows it means there are two separate things which is associated with me. That is the key to awakening. We'll go further. go further so look at the thoughts and the feeling do I know that these thoughts are separate from the breath and the body yes it is a different thing that the body as long as I have a body I have a breath the mind works there. I have a fuel in the car and the tires. Then the car can run. That's a different thing. But the fuel is different from the car. Driving is different from the car. You know, that knowledge should be clear. There is a clarity what happens the clarity means understanding understanding means no confusion no wrong notion when there is a no wrong notion we are on a journey that is the key so look at the neck joint now we are bringing another now the body consists of the body consists of parts it is clear I am always whole I don't say that okay my one part I'm talking with one part with one part and listening with one part and living with other part not possible I am whole what it means I am always whole means different from the body different from the body that is being comfortable I'm taking you to a little deeper and the higher journey understand that so in that reference 
the knowledge of the Eastern wisdom is being transmitted to you through a step. With that reference, when I say look at the shoulder joint, so you are aware it's a part of the body. Oh, part of the body, how can I be the part? No way. But at the same time, you experience sensation, being comfortable, and steadiness, my friend. How simple it is. How simple it is. <clears throat> Look at the hip joint. So I may repeat hundred of times. But what is that wisdom in your mind triggers the awareness? What is that awareness that I am not the body? No doubt, experiences, sensation, being comfortable and steadiness. That is okay. Look at the entire body. <clears throat> Look at simply the entire body. We know it. We have known it millions of times. That body is not one whole, means consist of parts. I am not, I am not, cons I do not consist of the part, I am whole. So here I am and here is the body. So that awareness I have, I have in the experience of sensation, comfortable and steadiness. Now see, this is what it is. We normally take it, yeah, byproduct will be there, you will feel little relaxed, <clears throat> calm. That is why I'm explaining with reference to relaxation practice with four connections. Now see another awareness when I say being carefree. So now what is the being carefree? I said traffic. <coughs> I always say traffic and you. You are standing behind. You are one standing behind the thoughts moving in the mind. Moving in the mind. You are one standing across a road where hundreds of vehicles are passing, are moving. See that? You remain as one whole. You remain as one. And the rest are many. This awareness will take you deeper. Sometimes this awareness takes immediately to sleep, will take you to the journey of 
discovery of the self. Now why I say being casual means natural? We are working on the mind. We are working on the mind to know the reality or the self which is already there. That, that makes me, that makes me natural. Understand, it's a very deeper but very simple principle. So, when I do the practice, means I will reach your home. So the action produces a result which is not <coughs> with me at this time. But this knowledge of mindfulness and meditation means what? It is already there within me. Knowledge means the self is already there. But I don't know. So, meditation or mindfulness is way to know the self hidden behind. That is what makes me natural. It is already within me. I don't know. So let me start knowing it. So the mind becomes focused. In that state, sensation and awareness of the body and and you we strengthen this, we deepen the experience by, with, by separating the body from I inside. You may say, this is the pra practice, actually. You have done this uh, practice hundreds of times, maybe thousands. But when the knowledge is clear, now see, look at the head and the neck. Feel the sensation and become aware. So I know it that I'm looking at the part of the body. It is the same I. It is the same one I that moves to different parts of the body. Different parts means where there is parts, I'm not. How simple it is. I have to be maintain that awareness. Look at the right arm. So again, the intellect says it is a part of the body. Am I aware? Now I say experience the sensation and awareness. So knowledge in the mind. What is that? The right arm is a part of the body. Is a separate. Separate means... But it is the same eye who looks at the right arm. It is the same eye lives in the mind, experiences sensation and awareness. Yes, now I am clear. Left arm, the same eye looking at the left arm, feeling the sensation and awareness in the mind. Very clear, I am not the body. The chest and the belly. Feeling the sensation and awareness and different. Looking at the right leg, feeling the sensation and awareness. So deeper inside the intellect 
is clear. What it is clear? What is the clarity? Many parts of the body not not many parts of who am I? It is the same I moving on different parts of the body. See that. Clearly see that. Know that. Aware of that. The entire body, sensation and awareness and And body is lying. You know, see the byproduct? What is the byproduct? Oh, I feel relaxed and calm. These are the byproducts. Our journey is deeper. So let us move to the next step if I say so. Sensation and stillness. Look at the head and the neck. Again, the parts versus whole. What is whole? I am. Body versus I am. With experience of sensation and stillness. Why we are following that step? In order to allow the mind to rest within. Why? 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 To know myself, to my, know my true nature. My true nature, I have studied, I have understood, it is of the nature of bliss. So look at the head and the neck. Be there, or body part. Experience, sensation and stillness. So you see that there are three things. Three things. One is I as whole. Second is your experience changes. Whatever is changing is not me. And the body part which is not me. That is the key. Right arm, body part, experience, sensation and stillness. So you will see, you have variety of experiences or your experiences are different one part of the body to the other. But the I factor remains one. It is the same I. Left arm, body part, experience, sensation and stillness, and who knows, I, I is the same. The function of our intellect is to separate and perceive. So we are simply saying, okay, intellect, Be very clear. That is what I'm saying. I'm not talking of religion, dogma, belief, God, cult, religion, nothing of that sort. Right, the chest and the belly, first factor. Awareness, that body part, it means I'm not the body. Then experience in the mind, sensation and stillness. I am not even the experience because every moment the experience changes. So operating principle, operating principle is what? In the practice is what? I am whole witnessing, witnessing parts and experiences sensation and stillness. Look at the right leg. How simple it is. You are doing nothing. It is a knowledge practice. Why it is a, why it is a knowledge practice? <clears throat> I have studied, I have understood my real nature 
is always with me. It never leaves me, with me. I am hungry, so I have to uh, do an action to get the food from outside. So the karma is, what is karma is different from knowledge. All meditation practices is knowledge practice, my friend. You know, we are a hundred percent clear. Who is clear? The seeker, left leg. So, you know, I say, casually I say, you know, I have been saying in other practice, oh, look at the left leg, feel the sensation in the stillness, the entire body. So now we introduce the subtle knowledge in the mind to clear the intellect, to have a clarity of understanding that will drop the wrong notion. So look at the entire body, oh, I am awareness. And in bit I and awareness of the whole body and leads to an experience of sensation and stillness. Experiences changes, bodies constantly changes. But since birth that I within never Changes. I have to simply become aware of it. Now see that. I say look inside the chest. Very subtle understanding. So what it means? The mind moving within. What it means, the mind becomes subtle. Why it becomes subtle? We need subtle mind to know who am I, to know my true nature. Where a needle works, the Caesar cannot work. That is the key. So look inside the rib case. Become aware of the space. The awareness of the space makes the mind subtle. Why? It is not moving on to any object. To, to to divide and perceive oh, one space and the moment you are aware of the space say to yourself mentally with love I'm the peace now see when you say that I am peace peace is one whole you cannot divide it Peace is one whole. I cannot divide it. So the peace and I and the space are one. Say it again, going deeper within. Going deeper within. The moment you are aware of the space, say to yourself, I am peace. So the peace and the space and I are when you cannot break up the peace, you cannot break up the space. So you cannot break up this I, I is one. How simple it is. And now do nothing. So when you do nothing means knowledge is still there. What is knowledge? It is awareness. What is knowledge? It is experience. What is that experience that I am whole? 
different and separate from body breath experiences that much is and needs to be understood with a clarity where the clarity it is always in the mind what is that clarity it is understanding what is that understanding it is awareness what is that understanding it is knowledge how simple it is and now in that state of doing nothing we experience what do we experience we experience inner calmness and peace but what is more important that i as a whole body is a part experiences changes body changes i do not change the moment the intellect gets that clarity nobody can prevent inner calm and the peace and the joy that brings the joy so the knowledge that liberates you that promotes detachment and dispassion is the real knowledge how simple it is om shanti 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 om shanti 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 om shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Bring your awareness on the right hand your awareness on the left hand lift your both the palms place it on your eyes closed eyes and open the eyes inside the palms know your experiences and bring the hands down 